Tom Donnie here. I want to look real quick at some crankshaft pulley issues we're having with the standard crankshaft pulleys. There's a batch of remanufactured uh, parts that floating around out there that are not correct. They have to have a couple modifications made to make them better, make them right. Um, real quick here, I'll just give you a pointer. The snap ring that always pops out when you pull your pulley off, uh, silicone it in. Dry that all up with a brake clean or something first and then just put a bead of silicone. See how I've done that all the way around the groove once the snap ring's in and by golly she'll stay in for you forever. Um, the, with two problems with these pulleys. You can see there that this plate is actually running, rubbing on these tabs. And you can see, I think, the height difference, how far down this pulley's recessed. This one's way down. This one's not down at all. And I've actually already relieved this 80,000, so that thing was really out of whack. But uh, that's the problem. The plate hits, and when the plate hits, it can't put pressure on everything. So what happens is you put this all together, throw your rubber on. Remember, boys, always have a rubber. Then... Um, as you tighten this up, because that is going to hit in here, and again, this one I have already relieved, so this one's repaired and done right. Uh, when I tighten that all up, what happened was I went to turn the engine over, and the rubber ring was slipping. I was like, well, man, I don't want my rubber slipping. I mean, all that's going to end up in is child support payments, so don't let your rubber slip, guys. So what you got to do is machine this area down, and that's what we did here. We chucked this up in a lathe and cut this down, and uh, put about 80 thousandths clearance. Easy way to tell if you've got a bat, if you've got one, is just if you got an OEM pulley with the numbers and sob, you're okay. If you don't have that, you might want to take your spring and cap, spring and cup off, and check it real quick. It'd be easy to do. And I think if if you've got one that is a aftermarket and it's been rubbing, and I think it'll rattle. I think it'll cause engine vibration issues you're going to see witness marks on the back side of here and here where they've been rubbing and, and clattering. But uh, that's what I would do to get this stuff fixed. Um, the other area is the seal area where the seal rides. It was, it was made with a, just a regular casting finish. The, where the seal rides in here, it was never cleaned up and, clean, and made proper. So we've taken all these already and we've already machined a, a burnished or a micro finish onto the pulley. And then um, we've cut them all down so they'll fit now. now. I've built some engines with these new pulleys. So if you've got an engine from me and you've got a problem with a rattle or a vibration, let's check it and see what you've got. I've only got in my notes a couple guys that have them and I've contacted them already. But I don't always keep good notes. Ten years ago I didn't. Let's put it that way. I do today. So the other thing I want to show you here is this one came in with, a, with the area painted. And again, like I've said, you never want to paint the seal area where a seal rides and you always want to lube that that should always have lubrication on it when you're done cleaning it up so what's happened to this one is as i clean the paint off it's got a crack and guess what the crack occurs right where the groove is cut okay surprise surprise huh? anytime you cut a groove you're going to weaken something and that's what we've got here i just on i'll side i'll diverse just a bit here's a the factory sob rod cage here that break all the time then here's the aftermarket ones we've been using up until about uh, 2017 and we just kept having trouble with them breaking and what happened is the machine shop put these what they called lubrication grooves in it of course they were just mill marks but it it made the cage inherently weaker so you took something that was already weak right here and made it weaker yet so i don't quite get it but uh, that's why we quit using those cages that's why we started making our own rods with a modern bearing in it to get away from all that. Plus, we weight match all of our rods when we sell them, so everything's in real good shape there. But um, again, if you've got some issues or you think you might have a, a, you know, a new pulley on the front of your motor, and again, it's only mixer motors, it's not Monte Carlo, um, check it. If you, if you don't have any marks on there, see if your plate's been hitting because that's going to cause you problems and you're going to need to cut about 80 thousandths or so off of here and then make sure your seal area there has been cleaned up so that your seal will live and don't paint that area please all right that's about all i got for today this is tom donnie from fort dodge and sturgis signing off